have no idea why I'm pretending to play arcade games right now when I could be showing you guys five of my favorite things that I ever bought while filming the NES Pursuit. Let me show you guys. Okay, before I get started, I have to make it super clear. These aren't the most prized possessions in my collection according to value or anything like that, the biggest scores. No, these are five of my favorite things just that I have that are in my collection that I love to look at or I think are cool or unique. They're the items that I would last get rid of right now if money wasn't really taking any part in that. So, here we go. I've not seen such bravery. The first thing is this, the GoldenEye 007 bundle that comes with the Wii Classic Controller Pro Limited Edition Gold Beautiful Controller. Now, this was given to me, which makes me feel like there's a little bit of a full circle that goes on with karma, if you want to call it, because I had this gold controller and I really like it and I loved having it, but when Gabo first started coming in the group, I could tell he really liked it, so I gave it to him off camera. I didn't want to show it or anything, but I gave it to him thinking, well, hopefully I find the controller again. And little did I know when I was at the Sacramento Retro Gamers Expo, a fan of the show decided to give this to me. It's really awesome. It's really beautiful. I love the way it looked when you open the box. Ta-da, you got the game. It's in perfect condition. The controller is really where it's at. Uh, the Wii did a few different things like this, like with one of the different Zelda Wiimotes and also this and a few other things I've seen poking around that I can't remember off the top of my head, but I love it. Also, this one's never been played with. It still has the, the little styrofoam on the tip right there. So, uh, thank you. This is wonderful. One of the beauties to look at. And when it comes to this kind of stuff, it's more about the way it looks. Hopefully that's not how you treat people, base them off the way they look. I've not seen such bravery. The second thing I want to show you guys that I absolutely adore may even be close to my very favorite of all of these. These are in no particular order is this, the Super Mario Bros. 3 walkie talkie. I mean, you can see how big this thing is right next to me. It's like twice the size of my head as far as vertical distance. This is licensed by Nintendo, but it's made by Micro Games USA. This is an item I was looking for for a very long time, kept seeing at expos, and they kept being too expensive. But when I came across this, as you guys saw in NES Pursuit, it was only $10. But with the colors and the size of it, I mean, guy, I'm even seeing myself in the, in the camera right there, how big it is, it is just such a blast to have on display because almost everyone that comes by or comes over sees it on the shelf and goes, whoa, where did you, what is that? Because it's so bulky, it's so big, but it also is so cute because it has Mario with his raccoon ears. Um, this company also, by the way, just so you guys know, did make some other things like the Game & Watch Zelda, Game & Watch Super Mario Bros, a bunch of other Game & Watches, and uh, one interesting looking punch out one that I've personally never seen before. Uh, this was made in 1990, and you know, on the box they advertise that you can talk to Mario. You can't talk to Mario, just so you know. Unless you have a friend named Mario, you can probably talk to him on these. But I love them, they're great, and they're one of my favorite things to show people. I'm like, hey, they come over, what do you got? I go, I got these, you wanna see them? The police are here. I've not seen such bravery. The next thing is something kind of interesting that not everybody might like or even think, why the heck do you like this? But I just do. It is my little Homer Simpson slash zombie Homer. It's made out of like a porcelain material. It's very heavy. It's a lot heavier than it looks. This was given to me as well a very long time ago by someone who used to be in the show quite a bit, a guy named Lewis from Land of Vintage Video Games and Toys. And uh, he gave this to me as a gift a while ago. And it's one of those things where any of my friends who collect Simpson stuff, uh, when they come over, they always kind of go like, what is that? Because, you know, there's like bootleg stuff in the world and stuff that is handmade. I don't know necessarily how this came to be if someone made it, if it was actually sold or whatnot. But it's one of those things for when you're kind of like a fan of something and you kind of see the same stuff over and over in people's collections. This is one of those items where people are always like, what is that? I didn't know what that, what that was. And it's interesting when I got it, I liked it like an eight out of 10, which is great. I loved it. But as time goes on, I've realized how many people really appreciate it when they come over, uh, which has made me appreciate it even more. So I really love it. Huge Simpsons fan, a huge like horror fan, zombie type of stuff. So this is right up my alley. Just one of my favorite toys to have lying around uh, in my collection. As of right now, things like this always change. I could do the same video in six months and I could be showing you guys completely different things. That's just the way. Game chasing. 
That's not my show. I was in episode 69. Stupid. I've not seen such bravery. So I have a lot of VHS tapes and a lot of ones that I really like are a lot of video game related ones and old cartoon related sealed stuff. But this is kind of like my go-to big one right now. One of my favorites that I recently got for like five seconds. I got it for five bucks in an expansion pack and showed nothing else about it. Me oh my, I'm gonna buy this for five bucks, absolutely. That's this right here. This Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask year 2000 promotional VHS tape. Man, five bucks, like I said, at the swap meet. Just saw it sitting on the table right in front of my buddy Jay and Ricky and I happened to catch it first and man, I was excited to get this thing. When I watched it too, it was much different than I was expecting, which made me like it a lot more too, because I was expecting the usual over the top, overly like, whoa, have you played Nintendo? It's so cool. It's the greatest console of all time. Wow, your friends will love it. No, it was the opposite. It was like a little narration promoting this through Toys R Us, an exclusive to Toys R Us. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the N64 is coming October 26th. Some consider it a sequel to the greatest video game ever. Others claim that it's much better than the original. Let's talk with the experts at Nintendo. But it was just interviewing like two different people that would just simply tell you about the video game in a very narration type style of video. It was very calm and relaxed and at the end of the video, they ended up showing you a little bit about, well, a sneak peek to this new game as well, Banjo-Tooie. So to see all this footage, it was really cool. I had a really good time watching this. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is much more than a sequel. In fact, you could label it as a sequel, but then you'd have to take everything you know about sequels and throw it out the window. It's one of those things that when I saw it, I didn't know how bad I wanted it until I saw it, and I, I just love having it. And I got to admit, Mort texts me like every day if he can have this thing. You know, I'm willing to give Mort a lot of things. I don't know if this is one of them yet. Give me like six months to enjoy it on the shelf. <laughs> I've not seen such bravery. This last thing was given to me on an episode of the expansion pack recently, and we only got to show up for like two minutes, but this is an actual holy grail of mine. The Sea of Thieves Xbox One controller. Oh my gosh, are you for real, bro? Dude. Dude, my hand started shaking, you see that? It's probably the most expensive controller you can get. I've been wanting this for a very, very long time. Back when Kevin Kenson was talking about it when Sea of Thieves first came out, I remember being so jealous of it. And I didn't go to get it right in the beginning, and by the time I went to actually go get it, it went up in price significantly. This is a very expensive controller. I'd say probably the most expensive Xbox One controller that I know of. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous, it's a prized possession for me. I think I've just really been in love with the colors since the first time I saw them. The colors really got to me like, wow, this is this is a color scheme that I wanna put on my shelf. And something that I kind of realized as I was filming this is three out of these five items were gifts. And I don't know if that plays a part into my psyche, like when it's a gift, it means more to me because it's coming from someone and someone who's trying to do a good thing. I feel like it means a little more to me in my heart. So I appreciate it. This is something that I won't be playing with this controller. I can straight up say that I have like, I don't know, 27 Xbox One controllers of different variants and different versions, but I don't have this one. And this is one that I just simply want to display and kind of hold as a prize for me because because when I got this too, I did say this is not just like my holy grail Xbox item at the time or a holy grail controller. This is actually my holy grail item for the time being when he gave this to me. This was an actual holy grail for me, which I mentioned on other episodes. So thank you, Jay. Thank you so much. Uh, this is, this means the world to me, honestly. Stuff like this is where you feel good about doing what we do. I've not seen such bravery. What are your favorite items that you have in your collection? They don't have to be rare or expensive or anything like that. They can just be like these things, and though some are expensive, just things you love to have and things you love to have in your possession and go, this is cool, this is different, this makes me happy, this brings me to a place of nostalgia and contentment in my heart. So that's mine. What are your guys? I'd love to hear it down in the comments below. And heck, if you wanna do a video, do it. Back in the day when we do used to do tagging videos on YouTube, I'll tag people, uh, show me, uh, do you nerd? Uh, make a Dan, uh, Retro Rick, Gaming Off The Grid, what are your top five items in your collection? Yeah. Collab videos! Nah, that's not what it is, but you know. All right, sayonara, senorita, or senorita, senorita, senor. Senor is the 
male version of Senorita, right? Whatever. All right, see ya. Don't subscribe.